Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing a pixelated horror game called File. This was created for the Pixel Horror Jam on Itch.io, which ran from August to October of this year. I've already played one game from that game jam, unknowingly. Uh, Cozy, a couple weeks ago, and I really enjoyed that one, so I figured I would play a couple more at least from that game jam, and this was one of them. Uh, it features a red guy, so instant horror right there. Red is the scariest color. It claims to be influenced by Welcome to the Game and Pony Island, both of which I've enjoyed. And they feature some, like, you know, browsing the internet type of gameplay and maybe a little bit of fourth wall breaking, so I guess we can expect that. Let's go ahead and hit play. Resting bitch face, hello. Success! Executing file.exe! Do we want that to happen? Use the mouse to interact with the environment. Watch carefully for changes in the character's appearance. Is this me? I look pissed. Okay. <laughs> Chair with a tire swing outside. Got ourselves a little webcam. I guess, I guess it's normal to just have a, a live video feed of yourself on your own monitor. I wonder if we could just we could click on her nose. Nothing happened though. New email. Let's check it. Welcome back home, sis. This is uh, from unknown sender to Raven. Okay. Hope your trip was all you wanted and more. I heard that the food is really good. Not like the food here at home. Mother is still burning everything she can, and you know how Dad is. Anyway, I just wanted to send you an email to see how we're going and how the trip was. I am planning a road trip soon, so if I had your way, maybe I can crash at yours for a little while. Be nice to catch up face to face. Better get back to work. Love you, sis, Lenore. Okay, thanks, Lenore. Why was it unknown sender, exactly? What is this? Raven283. I guess that's us. What is this thing? If you really want to know about me, then ask. What well, is this, a fucking OK Cupid profile? I hope everyone is having a good night. Everyone. Even people you don't like. I don't believe that. Just finished working. I'm exhausted. Friends online. Dragon Slayer. Theme Maker. Can't Stop the Meta. And the Monarch Fan. You have some cool friends. Play with me? What happens if I don't? Oh, that's weird. It's like a little weird computer virus. Notes. Things to remember. Buy more coffee. Need more coffee. Email Lenore back. Call mom and dad. Finish my video game reviews. Pay rent. Do Wednesday. Pay phone bill. Uh, do next week. Yeah, I assume that's phone bill. It looks like phone kill. I mean, I, I'm assuming you're not firing, uh, like, like hiring a, a hitman to kill your phone. Anyway, okay, let's uh, click on this. Okay. I like it here. Okay. Great. Glad. Is that all you have to say? There's like a little arrow. They like it here. Cool. All right. Well, you can stay there for all I care. This is a shitty game. <laughs> One time I saw a squirrel. Uh-huh. Great story, man. How did I get here? How do you, uh, keep the text going? Maybe there's no way. I keep pressing stuff. Oh, space is jump, okay. I made it. Yeah, don't even need to hit that middle platform. Is this ice? No. Great game so far. That thing wanted me to play with them, but this is a single player experience. Mew. Thanks, cat. Close the window to continue. Uh-oh, did you see that? 
Her face changed. You gotta pay close attention to catch these subtle changes. Um, it's not here anymore. Interesting. Okay, do I have any new uh, email? Oh wait, there's a new note. So, you've decided to play my game, have you? I, I mean, I guess so. Yeah, sure. What? <laughs> wait. <laughs> How could you? How could I what? What is that? How could I what? No! Get me out of this! Uh oh, there's... There's things out in the distance. The trees here are a bit scary. Those aren't trees. I don't know how to break this to you. The squirrel was scared. Oh, they continue their stories each time you go through. That looks like a giant dragon skull or something. I know we were playing some nerdy game. Seriously, how did I get here? I don't know, but every time you talk, it makes a really loud noise. So far, I'm doing great on the platforming. It helps that it's easy. Mew, rawr, uh-oh. Cat's getting a little more hostile. Oh, did you see that? Got a little, little cut on her cheek. Ouch. Okay, it's normal. What, what is real? Whoa! Here's the next game, okay. The three question marks this time. They get more incredulous each time. Oh, sorry. Simple, right? Keep playing the game and I will tell you a bit about myself. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do it. They're getting closer. I don't regret what I did. Well, what did you do? I'll decide if it's regrettable or not. I wasn't going to hurt it. Oh, but you did, didn't you? These are all people who have regrets. That thing's coming out of the dragon skull there. What is going on? I don't know. You're kind of pointless, aren't you? It didn't let me finish this time. Why the heck not? You got something against video games? Yeah, when I get there, it... It closes. That's odd, right? Not much about the deity has survived the test of time, leaving a lot of questions unanswered. What records are still around to this day claim that the being had red skin, was very tall, had four long tendril arms protruding from its shoulders, had an affinity for sharp metal objects, and likes to torture its sacrifices with games or puzzles. Hmm, that sounds very familiar. I can't quite place that behavior though. This picture depicts the slaves, or possibly the prisoners of the time, offering themselves to the deity. So, Red Slender Man with Jeff the Killer tendencies. Okay. What? I restarted the game, and now it doesn't close when I do that. Yeah, I'm not sure why it kept closing. Very odd. Meow! Alright already. Somebody's a little over-enthusiastic. Oh, she's got fangs! <laughs> hey, sis. Haven't heard back from you. Hope you're okay. My plan for the trip are going surprisingly well. My plans for the trip, rather. It seems that everything is aligning just right. I am meeting with a few travel advisors today to set up my stop locations and stuff. I am super excited to see you again. Mum and Dad have been fighting again. In itself is nothing new, but I thought you should be up to date with this stuff. We are a family after all. I was hoping we could go see them together for the holidays. I know they miss you. We all miss you. Anyway, I have to go see these people. Love you, sis, Lenore. Do you really love me, Lenore? Where to start? I've been around for a long time. Not sure how long. When did you creatures start being able to walk? Around then, I think. 
Ah, okay, so millions of years ago, right? Boo. Let's see. Everything's the same here. Let's see. We gotta we gotta click on some stuff. We've clicked on the, the photo. We've clicked on the outside. By the way, when I restarted it, it said notice changes in the cursor's appearance. I just didn't read it fast enough. So maybe there's something we click on here. The cursor looks pretty much the same. What? Scratched out my eyes, huh? And my mouth. All right. We got four question marks now. This thing's full of inquiries. Um, they're a little closer this time. Music's a little different. They will never find them. Oh, everybody's getting a little creepier now. Hey, they're having a, like a campfire. They're going camping, that's cool. Squirrel, 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 squirrel. This guy's nuts now. He should be out chopping wood, man. That's what lumberjacks do. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, and then there's a there's a help in there. They're all just nuts now. They're so so quirky and crazy. Hey, I went to a college town with tons of hipsters. It's not really that out of the ordinary. Oh, an erupting volcano. Uh-oh. The cat doesn't even have anything to say. The cat's rendered speechless by the creep-tastic activities. Ah, she didn't have any eyes. All right, well. I suppose you want to know my name. Truth is, I have had so many names, and yet can't recall a single one. <laughs> For now, you can call me File. <laughs> the most intimidating name ever. File. Named after a really boring activity that no one really wants to do. Filing their paperwork, of course. Morse code, okay. Well, that's, that's a handy dandy thing to have. Glad you, uh, you know it. What? What is this thing attached to it? There's, um, there's five question marks and one of them's red. Guys, they're, they're about to come over the hill. What you got to say for yourself now? I did it. I killed them both. They were singing in their tears. Were they? That's kind of odd behavior. Delicious. Oh, what, you ate the squirrel? I'm supposed to believe that? All right. Repent. Oh man, there's, there's a bunch of little shadow people in there. Regret. What did I do? Did I kill my sister? Ah, it hurts. What hurts? Remember. Written in chalk. Why do I keep having to make this jump? Guys, there's a flying saucer next to the erupting volcano. Uh-oh. Aliens. And then that thing, which I want to check that place out personally. Uh-oh. Well, this is a tall gray figure. We're talking, we're, we're looking for a uh, tall red figure. So it's not really what we're looking for. Oh, we're making it further though. She's so evil. Something is, uh, bubbling underneath the surface, I think. Hmm, let's see. Not sure what else to say. Hmm. Oh, I know. How about I tell you a bit about you? Your name is Raven. You were recently on a holiday that you didn't quite want to go on, but hey, when you have a chance to go somewhere new, you take it, right? Who knows what could happen? You have a sister named Lenore. She's very beautiful. You left her a long time ago to suffer the domestic mediocrity that was your family home. You have no pets, no boyfriend, no car, no real job. You spend way too much time on your computer. Oh. And you left your curtains open. <gasps> He's in the house. The call is coming from inside the house. Why Why do I have this Morse code? I have to do some translating. 
I can't even open my email unless there's a new one, which I think is stupid. Am I supposed to click on the Morse code? Boink! Uh-uh! <laughs> Does this say Jurassic Park reference? Uh-uh-uh. I can't... It, say, it just says six now. Oh no! We're in a hard hat area without a hard hat! The biggest horror of all. What do you got to say for yourself now? Don't you get it? They had to go. Oh, it's a uh, binary. Probably says something about death, I don't know. Help! Oof. I'm, I'm cutting myself on the edge right now. Okay. Can I just, oh, I can't hop up there. Why? I wanna go home. All right, I can see you. Oh no! It's the red room with the wall face. The heck? Another one. This one's going fast, dude. Hello, Raven. Can I say that's so Raven at any point in this video? I'll try to figure out a way to bring it up naturally. Oh, that's uh, Lenore just got a lot more. A lot more, uh, ugly. A lot more ugly. Uglier. Lenore just got a lot uglier. That's, I'm just gonna stumble through that, that observation. Game. Play. Don't stop. Play. Lenore. File, 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 file. Hmm. That was from Unknown Sender. Who could've, who could've sent that? Time to get taunted some more. You really are enjoying the game, aren't you? I won't ruin the game for you. There's nothing worse than someone telling you all about the secrets. I know you like horror and thriller movies. I can tell by your DVD shelf in the lounge room. She has a lounge room? That sounds relaxing. I want to check that out. I wonder what DVD she has. You like Evil Dead, huh? Hopefully you like it more than Army of Darkness. Uh, I mean... Army of Darkness is good. You know, it would really be great if I could drag this over so I could translate the Morse code. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Like, what, what could this even be a hint to? It would just be a hint to, like, click on something, right? Like, there's gotta be, there's gotta be something. All right. Uh, let's take a look. What did I just pick up? Seven. Okay, so we unlock the next uh, mini game. Oh no! Oh no! Do you see it yet? Do I see what yet? Why do you have levitation powers? Oh no! That's the first time I've actually fallen. That's upsetting. That's that sucks. Why is it like? Okay, it, it like moves me from side to side. That's kind of annoying. What? <laughs> what is? I, I I don't know. Some one of those uh, words is in red though, so you know they mean business. I don't know how many times I can make the red joke. But it's just, it's such a common trope. It really is. Raven, stop. Well, why don't you freaking make me, octopus man? Fuck off. You don't even know how you got here. Oh no. Okay, there's some ooze coming out of that grate. Sweet. Why, why is it so fast on the bottom? Oh, I tried to catch it. Like, in rhythm. Boom. Lenore! 
Why was it a rainbow? Is Lenore gay? Why would that have anything to do with anything? You, you gotta wonder. Close the window. Oh man. <laughs> They're kind of overdoing it a little bit with like, what, again? Isn't it strange? Isn't it strange? Isn't it strange? And then the last one's, of course, red. It is kind of strange. How about, oh no, no hidden wall books this time. That's upsetting. They wouldn't have that again. Can I click on myself? All right, maybe I gotta translate this Morse code. Oh, it's no longer there. Hello. Do I click on you? You look an awful lot like that tall red deity that likes to torture people with games and puzzles. Huh. Oh. Eight. Oh my. We've exposed his beating heart. We've got to reach his heart! Like in that Jeff the Killer game I played a long time ago. Raven, Raven, don't you see? You're the only thing that matters to me. I thought he was gonna write us some poetry. That's too bad that that did not happen. Hello, is that Lenore? Raven, Raven, come to me. It, it, is, it is a rhyme, I was mocking that, but it actually is a rhyme. She never loved you. You failed her. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Okay, Lenore. Okay, so what actually happened? Hey, looks like she lost an eye and is gagged for some reason. Raven, Raven, play the game. I will tell you my name. Is that what it's gonna say? You will learn my name or something like that? Oh, Raven Raven. She's not the same. Dr. Seuss, you ain't. I gotta say. What the heck? Got song. Shovel Knight, let's do this. Dearest Raven. I suppose the congratulations is in order. You finished the game. I'm impressed you made it this far. Dude, all we had to do was jump. It's not a big deal. Wasn't that challenging. Get over yourself, you know what I'm saying? Lenore had troubles convincing me that you were worth the trouble. Did you see the signs? Were you paying attention? Can you understand the game? Lenore, she was strong. So strong. Not physically, obviously, but mentally. I remember when I pulled her eye out, she barely even screamed. To be fair, she was exhausted from screaming out for you. She wanted to see you again. Before you call me a monster. <laughs> I'm, I can't wait to hear what the defense is. Before you call me a monster, you should know, it wasn't easy for me either. It's hard to keep someone conscious enough to talk while you cut into them. Great. Lenore was alone. She died alone. As did the little girl, the man in the suit, and the lumberjack. They all received the game, too. You were the first one to complete it. How is that possible? Wow, they must have been terrible at video games. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some matters to attend to. Here is a gift from me to you. Love, file.exe. What's the gift? I die? <laughs> you win! See you soon. What? So I got killed by Red Slender Man with a... with a cleaver. Alright, well... Props to you two for making a game for the Game Jam in just two months with all original assets and everything. It's more than I can say for most of the shit on Steam. Um, as for the game, kind of fell short for me. Um, 
You know, I mean, I, I respect the work that went into it. Uh, I just don't think it kind of came across the way that they had hoped. Uh, it, like... It was, it was just, it was a bit too heavy-handed all around. It was like, um, and like, you know, you always knew when something scary was happening because it was real in your face. There was no subtlety to it. And I think for something like this, you really got to work the psychological horror angle, much like Pony Island did. And Pony Island, I don't think was an especially scary game or even really much of a scary game at all, I guess. Uh, it was more just kind of a cool concept, but Pony Island did have Asmodeus.exe, which was, I think, it, it made the whole game worth it that for that one moment. Um, which I, I still haven't really had the fourth wall broken like that, quite like that, um, since Pony Island. And uh, may, maybe the original I'm Scared came pretty close, but... Um, yeah, it, th this game, like, uh, it just, it, it was a little, it was a little, it, it tried a little too hard in, in places. Like, I don't think we need to see the main character, like, their webcam on the screen. I don't think we needed that at all. I know that it gave us something, like, a face to look at, but, uh, you know... Every time we complete the game, seeing the eyes gouged out, or like half the face is a skull, or what have you, it was just kinda, it was a little much. Like, there wasn't much space in between the scary parts. The game was a little too simple, like, um, the game within the game, I mean, just walking to the right and jumping around. Uh, I mean, I, f I feel like they could have done something a little bit more interesting with it. Like, not a platformer, more of just kind of a puzzle, like a creepy little puzzle that you had to solve. Because it, it did say in the lore for the deity or whatever their name is, that like they like games and puzzles. There weren't so much puzzles in that game. The only puzzles in the game were like basically hidden object type of stuff to unlock the platforming minigame. And I think there could have been, I think there were a lot of missed opportunities with that. I think this is like, I, I love fourth wall breaking shit, like somebody on their computer, cause like obviously that's what I'm doing right now. So it can kind of hit close to home when it's done properly. Like welcome to the game does it really well. For example, um, you know, Pony Island, I'm scared. Obviously those are kind of the gold standard for these type of fourth wall breaking um, type of games. Um, this one didn't really break the fourth wall much, uh, actually. I kind of expected there to be stuff like that, but it didn't really do that at all, because everything was in the context of, like, you in the game looking at a computer monitor, you know? Uh, which is fine. You know, I mean, this is a game jam game made in just a couple months, and like I said, all original assets and you know, the, like, the work is definitely there. I just think that some of the design could definitely have been improved uh, to make it a lot more of an effective horror game. But yeah, you know, like I said, it's not, it's not, it's not terrible. I just don't think it was particularly effective. I think that the villain was a little too edgy. I think that there were, there was a lot of edge, you know, like the lumberjack ate the squirrel, you know, and just like that, like there was a lot of, there was a lot of visuals of like, the wall has a face, you know, and things like that. You could tell it was it was trying to kind of be like, um, like a Yume Nikki sort of thing, I think. Uh, but just, you know, when you walk past the wall face and nothing happens, it's just a face on a wall. You know, you kind of learn that it's, it's sort of just a museum. There's no real danger in the creepy environments. Nothing's gonna attack you, you can just walk on by everything. And I think there was some missed opportunity there for sure. It could have uh, could have made the environmentals uh, more hazardous and that would have put a little bit of spice in, into the uh, the visuals there. But yeah, that's, that's basically what I think of File. Um, gonna be playing some more pixel 
horror jam games. I think these are pretty cool. Uh, it's hard to find good game jam games, but from what I've seen so far of this game jam, it's uh, it's above average. So I really hope that Ichio continues it next year, and I look forward to seeing more games from the game jam. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Think critically.